Kitchen. What I do basically is create maps. And so um, I'm here tonight to propose to you all that we assist you in that process. Um, our proposal basically um, helps us help you. It equips you with the tools and with the knowledge to be able to collect this information on your own. That keeps the cost down and it also keeps the information in uh, the hands of the people who actually know where these structures are. So what we're proposing is um, that we will assist you in collecting the location of above ground features. And I have a list of those features. If you guys would like, I'll go through that list. Um, it is state waters, outfalls, um, inlets and drain lines for your sewer system, ditches, your, contro your control structures, which include water, water quality vaults, infiltration st structures, catch basins, detention and retention ponds, and um, your, per your pervious pavement and your bioswales. Now, the um, item that's going to take the most time is your state waters, but we actually already have an inventory in place for that, so that's something that doesn't even need to be part of your proposal. We've got that information available to you already. Um, so we're going to help you guys GPS the location of these above ground features. What we're going to do is construct what's called a data dictionary. It's kind of like a Word document that, that um, operates on a GPS unit. And when I'm talking about GPS units, I'm not talking about the kind that goes in your cars and tell, tell you how to get from point A to point B. These are some really good um, GPS units with sub-meter accuracy. So that if you walk up to um, an item on the ground, an above-ground feature, you're going to be within three feet of that item. And if you ever have to do any work on that, if you get within three feet, you're going to be able to locate that item on the ground. So we'll, con we'll construct that data dictionary, that Word document that that uh, goes through and helps you identify each of these features that I have already listed out to you. And then we're going to train City of Hayhire staff how to use that data dictionary and collect those, um, those points. As part of that, we're proposing to provide two days of training of my staff time, and that means I come up here or one of my staff members come up here and works with the city staff one-on-one -on -one to make sure that they really understand what's going on with the data dictionary and that we're collecting all the features to collect. After the city staff collects these features, they will then provide that um, GPS unit back to Southern Georgia Regional Commission staff and we will translate it into GIS data, which is the points on the map, the lines on the map, the polygons on the map, and the information behind that, which is the real power of GIS. Now, after all of that's done, what we're proposing is to create some maps for you guys. And that's really what you want in the end. We've got to go through these first two steps to get to the final um, map that is what you all want to, um, to provide as part of your MS4 uh, inventory. We have, the Southern Georgia Regional Commission GIS Department has assisted both Lambert County in this for the last three years. And we've been working with the City of Valdosta for the last five years on their stormwater. So this is something that we've done many times. It's something that we definitely know how to do and how to help you guys do. Um, I have some examples of some maps that we've done for Lowndes County and the city of Alabama with me, if you guys would take, like to take a look at it. But other than that, um, in our proposal, we do have some responsibilities for the city, and that's um, to provide the personnel that needs to be trained, schedule this time, and basically be available to answer our questions. And um, the project timeline is to go for a year, but we are ready to get started just as soon as you guys are ready. And if I could just add as well, um, <coughs> and I'm not going to say this because Rachel's here, but I, I worked with uh, uh, Rachel and her staff at the Regional Commission for seven years. There is uh, just about nobody uh, in the state who does GIS better than the Southern Georgia Regional Commission, and they're one of the best programs in the country. They have been honored uh, by their National Trade Association several times and uh, even uh, for many, many years uh, received a direct appropriation from the United States Congress as one of ten uh, recognized programs uh, who do this uh, in uh, the federal government. So uh, needless to say, they, they are very good at what they do and the cost, which you did not mention and I will, is $1,900.44. So that's $1,944.52. Needless to say, 
I don't want to say by how much, but when we price this out before, it's then considerably more than that. I won't say any more than that, or else Rachel will rethink the price. <laughs> but um, we we are getting a very good service for, uh, for for what is here, and we just appreciate her coming as well uh, to assist us in this. And I just want to tack on here real quick uh, that. Um, you know, if, if this works out well and it's something that uh, the Regional Commission would want to partner with us on, we are in desperate need of updating our water and sewer infrastructure mapping. Uh, it, in fact, is something that hasn't been updated in close to 20 years. So, uh, you know, if, if we can get through this as part of the MS4 permitting requirements, uh, for stormwater uh, retention through the state. Uh, we'd love to investigate uh, further uh, getting a mapping agreement together to where we can uh, to get those maps updated as well. So. And with that being said, uh, Rachel did mention that she would be training some city staff uh, to run the GPS unit. And once we get all this under our belt, and we do want to come back and do the water and sewer mapping, our guys will hopefully be able to do it and that the be the best of calls so they have to do is do the math and force. He's already made the investment. Right. Mm -hmm. Any questions for Rick? Okay. I was just going to say how soon if uh, the agreement is signed, how, how soon would y'all start working on it? We would probably start working on it within the month. We okay. did have to go through the process of having all of the contracts and whatnot signed and that's really what takes the longest because uh -huh. my people have done this so often and so much that we're ready to go. And how is this uh, budgeted? Uh, what is appropriate? Through a special purpose local option sales tax. Okay. Uh, and that's how it will be indicated on uh, Thursday night. That's okay. correct. As part of our MS4 permitting uh, set aside money. Absolutely. Thank you for your time and consideration. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we move on to.